Welcome back to The Lost Digit. Today we're going to be looking at an app called Sleep Cycle. And this is something that I use every day and I wanted to share with you guys because it helps me wake up feeling so refreshed every day. What you do is you select the time window which you want to wake up. So say you want to wake up, you know, around 7.15. You can put it at 7.40 and you'll wake up between 7.10, 7.40. And what it does is it uses the microphones on the phone to kind of detect your movement, your snoring, and if you're in a deep sleep or not. And it seemed kind of weird at first, you know, this can't be accurate, but uh, it's proven day after day that it does wake me up when I'm not in deep sleep. So unlike my alarm when I would wake up feeling cranky every day, this actually wakes me up and I feel better more often. So what you can see here is is the time you're in bed, the sleep quality, uh, and if you're snoring. So that's a really cool one if you want to track, you know, how much you're snoring at night. So listen. Another thing is uh, it takes sleep notes, so sometimes like if the weather is different or if you're in a different location that day, it'll, you know, keep a sleep note. So it's like, why did I sleep bad that day if you're looking through your history? And then a really cool thing is trends. So to get the trends, you actually have to subscribe. But uh, I got it for on a promotion for, I think, $8 a year, which is not bad. And this allows you to see, you know, the average time you go to bed and the earliest and latest, so you can see South Africans sleep the earliest and South Koreans sleep the latest on average. And then you can see on average also how long you're in bed. So that's really nice. Another thing I always um, like to see is the average time I wake up. So, I mean, it shows that I on average wake up at 8 a.m. snoring uh, you can see there are two weeks where I snore a lot that's because I was traveling and when you're traveling you know you're not in your ideal sleep condition so I guess I was snoring more another interesting thing is the sleep quality affected by the weather and the air pressure and the moon another cool thing is you can sync it to Apple Health for um, correlating your sleep quality to the activity of that day but I don't like to connect different things and then the sleep quality per day of the week so I usually sleep well except for Saturday nights when I usually go out and stay up late so that's my worst sleep quality so overall sleep cycle is really nice and I like it because you just have to plug it in you know start the app tell it when you want to wake up and then put it on your nightstand as you can see here. So they used to say put it face down, but with the iPhone 10 uh, and the screen being AMOLED, you, just by turning it black, it's the screen is basically off. So now they let you just keep it face up and it works. Another cool thing is you can use Philips Hue uh, integration so that it can use your Hue lights to wake you up slowly, but by the time I'm waking up, the sun's already up, so it doesn't really matter for me. And then the last thing I want to show you guys is my Utomic case. I really like this case, and you can check it out at uh, Utomic's website. But that's it for now, and next week I'll have a new phone coming in, and we'll go over that. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.